A new era in New Jersey, and tonight there is one question fed up voters have. How will Chris Christie lower the whopping property tax bills that the state has become infamous for? CBS 2's Christine Sloan asked the governor elect today. On the day after being elected the new governor of New Jersey, Republican Chris Christie came to the Robert Treat Academy Charter School in Newark, a blue ribbon school of excellence, founded by educator and Democrat Stephen Adubato. He was greeted by students and other Democrats, including Mayor Cory Booker. You can see a bright future for you and a bright future for the person next to you. The governor-elect says he is reaching out to the other side of the aisle to address issues like a failing urban education system and rising property taxes. Our property taxes, I told everybody right from the beginning, that this is not a silver bullet issue. The former federal prosecutor says he's not going to announce a slick solution today, but he does plan on cutting spending and auditing school boards with the help of his lieutenant governor. And one of Kim's assignments is going to be um, unfunded mandates and bringing to me in the first 90 days the most egregious unfunded mandates that contribute to continuing increase in property taxes. It's an issue that hasn't been resolved by other governors, but one that helped Christie win the election. New Jersey homeowners pay the highest property taxes in the nation. We own property. I have four children, and uh, it's high. We have family in Pennsylvania who are always saying, come move out here, but... We want to be close to the city. We grew up in New Jersey, and, you know, we like it here. There seems to be some optimism. I'm very happy that Chris Christie won because I'm very interested in changing. Christie says he's also looking at cutting taxes through shared services. And moving ultimately towards consolidation where voters in the localities approve of that. Christie says he's already named someone to head his transition team. He also says Governor Corzine has promised him a smooth transition. In Newark, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Governor Corzine had no public schedule today. Christie, though, says that Corzine has promised him a smooth transition.